This is Twit. Ted in Woodland Hills. Hi, Ted. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hi, Leo. Good to talk to you. Good to talk to you. Thanks for calling. I have kind of a catch-22 problem. All of a sudden, my internet browser crashes whenever I try to open it. <laughs> That's annoying. It really is. <laughs> so without trying to delete it. How do you get another one? Because you need a browser to download a browser, don't you? Exactly. So tell me a little, are you on Windows? I am. Uh, and uh, the browser 7? is Internet Explorer? Exactly, yes. So you want to start Internet Explorer in safe mode. The problem prob almost certainly is that there is something in your history or your cache that is, uh, that is crashing Internet Explorer. And, of course, you can't start it enough to get Chrome or Firefox. You can't get it to run. So um, if it crashes, it is possible to reset Internet Explorer's settings to clear the cache without running it. And you go into your control panel and uh, you open the internet settings. Uh, and you should be in internet options, I guess it's called. And you should be able to reset. There'll be a command to reset the settings, clear the cache. Um, it's under the advanced tab and there's just a reset button. Try that first. I, I did see that. Will I lose my saved information as far as... You'll lose as bookmarks, you'll lose cookies, you'll lo if you do a full reset, you'll lose all the cached stuff. The cache is the problem, almost certainly. Okay. So a corrupt... So the way uh, the Internet uh, Explorer and all browsers work is to save time. When you download an image from a website, it stores it locally in a cache. Mm -hmm. If that were to get corrupted, and that's easy enough, you know, a little mess up on the hard drive, which happens all the time, and Suddenly loading that picture just goes boom, kills it. Or you have a toolbar that's corrupt. Resetting it will reset all of those. Um, if, the, But you raise an interesting question. The, the catch-22 is if I don't have a browser, how can I get a browser? And there, in fact, some people say, and somebody's saying in the chat room, Internet Explorer is merely a delivery system for Google Chrome. I'll tell you, I'll tell you the solution when we return. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Um, so we were talking, it's, it's, it is a catch-22. If your internet browser, if you have Windows and you have one browser, Internet Explorer, and it won't run, what do you do? What will you do? Uh, well, we gave you one way. You can go to the Internet Options control panel and reset it. And if that doesn't fix it, um, I'm told, although I don't know if this is the case, I'm told that you can uninstall it. If you go to Add, Remove Programs, or now they call it Programs and Features, you can find IE. I was just looking on my WinBook, and I couldn't, but supposedly you can find IE, and you can uninstall it and reinstall it through Windows Update. That would, that would also help. But then the kind of a weird one is you can also FTP uh, a copy of <laughs> Mozilla or uh, I'm, should say, I'm sorry, Firefox from Mozilla, uh, you'd have to open your command. Let's see, well, how would you do this? You'd open a command line. So, you know, your DOS-like shell, and uh, you'd see the C colon backslash prompt, and you type FTP space, at, which is file transfer protocol, FTP space, ftp.mozilla.org. Is that all you need to do? I'll have to try it. It is a catch-22. If you can't launch Explorer, how, how, do, you, how do you fix Explorer? Uh, actually, uh, that's Internet Explorer. Now, Mike B is pointing out that the File Explorer on Windows will also do this. So you can FTP in your File Explorer. We'll put a link in the show notes, thanks to the Ford McCord in our chat room. How to download Firefox without a web browser that shows pictures and explains exactly how to use this. You launch FTP, and then, uh, so you go to the command line, you type FTP, that'll run the Windows FTP program, which you have, believe it or not, and then you'll see a prompt that says FTP greater than, and you type in, type openreleases.mozilla.org, <laughs> uh, and it'll walk you through the whole thing. The username is anonymous, the password is anonymous, that's literally the username and password. 
you'll have to browse around using the DOS commands for moving through directories, CD, change directory. You could see what's in the directory by typing LS. Oh, this is good. We're teaching you Unix. <laughs> then you switch to binary file mode by typing in type image. Oh, forget it. Then you choose the directory. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put this in the show notes. It's 12 steps. Don't forget to type by when you're done. <laughs> but you can do it. Isn't it great to be a geek?